The flurry of motion took the team by surprise and seemed to instill a great deal of spark within them. The Wings won nine of their last 12 games in the regular season and would start the playoffs as the third seed in the West, the same point from which they had won the Cup the previous two years. Well, Korea has been in on almost 74%. Now, when I say in on, he's been on the ice for 74% of the Ducks' goals this year. The only time that's ever been higher than that for an individual player was Mario Lemieux back in the late 80s. The Mighty Ducks have got to really watch out for the Red Wings five on five. During the regular season, they made some bad decisions. They've got young players. Detroit's experience and talent combined really burned them during the regular season. They've got to make better decisions if it's in them. And the pressure's on the home team the first two. Here comes Eiserman in. Eiserman! All out! Scores! What a beauty. Back pass to Konstantinov. Top off again. He shoots. Score! Score! The Red Wings have won it! We're set to go. The Red Wings and the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Round one. The crowd is ready. Yes, Al is back. Hibernation is over. Al's here, which can tell you just one thing. The playoffs are here, too, on your Stanley Cup station, UPN 50. The Red Wings and Ducks coming up from Joe Louis Arena. And the 1999 Stanley Cup playoffs are underway as the Red Wings look for their third cup, a journey over two months. Here's Lidstrom. Half to head quickly into Draper. Draper looking in front, side, rebound! Oh, the big stop by a bear on Maltby. And does not like to go down. Deflected throw and just missed. And again, McCarty in front screening him, who took a bit of a whack from Jason Marshall, number 23, who likes to dish it up. That's not bad news, because it's hard to get mad at the duck. They're too nice a team. Marshall might change that. Deflected in front by McCarty, he'll go after it. Ducks on it quickly, and they say, let's relieve the pressure. Here we go. Mixing it up behind the plane. McCarty, Solani with a little bump. That's what they need. This would be advantage Red Wings if the Ducks want to play this kind of game because you got to get mad at them. And they're coming out of their seats already here. Here's Holmstrom. Wolf Feather went in right wing side. Brendan Shanahan. He goes in and lays on the body and makes the play. Murphy the shot. He oh, and it was stopped in Holmstrom. Didn't see it coming. A penalty, though, coming to the Ducks. Now there's one of the advantages showed right up right away. Pavel Trinka is not a physical guy, and you saw it right there. Marshall had been bothered by a concussion of late. Here's Fedorov right in. Fedorov circling to Chelios, to Lidstrom. Clear shot. Sandy Bear. Rebound in front. Puck is still loose. And they lost sight of it. Don Van Massenhoven has blown the whistle, and again some pushing and shoving. Clark's gone. He just nailed Holler with a left cross to the jaw. But you know what? The Ducks were trying to get it's Holler who's gets a lot of attention for being throughout his career in Wayne Gretzky's face and upsetting Gretzky a lot. In Red Wing merchandise. As the puck goes out to center. Here's a steal. Brown on it. Puck still low. Spotman shot just dribbled wide. Ducks change. Red Wings do likewise. Just over five minutes gone here. First period as Draper brings through. Has to go McCarty knocked down. Penalty two. Take a look. Reverse angle. Number 20, LaPointe. That's an awful call. Whether it was against the Ducks or not, I'd say the same thing. It wasn't an elbow. If the wing score during this penalty kill, Michelle will win $50 in Red Wing merchandise. Oh, listen. Oh, there's a quick left hand from Chris Osgood. Boy, he's been complaints to the referee. He's cut and no penalty call at all. Look at that. Heisman saying, how did you miss that? Not a happy camper right now, that's for sure. Solani will go to the net and pick up those rebounds if there's any there. There's a shot that's blocked off the stick of McKinnis. Korea, Olison, pass back, slot. Here's Korea, point. Working it around McKinnis. The Ducks cycling. Here's Korea to McKinnis. Watch Solani far side. There he is. Olison moving down deep as Korea picks his spot at the point. Here's McKinnis. Korea, the hard shot, the save, the rebound. Puck still loose. And they score. We talked about rebounds. McKinnis was there. We talked about the Ducks' power play. And it's 1-0 Anaheim. Well, they, they rotated those guys just like a merry-go-round all the way around. Olison was way down deep. Solani went to the far side. 
Red Wings are complaining they didn't get a whistle on the on the they thought covered up, but it's one nothing Anaheim. Should do it, but a long time ago that it was Gump Worsley and here's Draper in the slot, the shot, and that was blocked. Logie Vashon to finish that top. I would love that challenge to be the guy. Here's Kozlov. His shot. A bear blocked that one to the corner. Kozlov got it back. Here's Eisenman to the point. To the point. Lips from the shot wide. Kriva scores! Eisenman getting the goal. It's a 1 1 tie. why you don't go get stitched up if you're Steve Eiserman you stay there and a, an almost impossible angle getting knocked down he stuffs it just inside the short side goal post Multi got bumped as he was hit by Ted Drury brother of Hobie Baker winner Chris Drury of Colorado oh, Multi got hit again as Drury stepped into him moving up is Murphy Shanahan waiting for it to come down. Kicked out at centering. Eisenman! Save there. And there's another one! And he'll grab that one as the point was shoved down to the ice to see if they call anything here. Van Massenhoven saying no. Did you see the hit on, on Marshall? Jason Marshall we're looking at right now by, by Dallas, Dallas Drake. Drake. Oh, yep. my gosh. I mean, he rattled about 15 of his fillings, and he had a, he had a, it was a clean hit, too. Yeah. Got his head, head down, coming around the net. Here's Chalios. Shot hit a leg. Spinning shot by Eisenman was blocked. Ah, uh, you got to go with Guy Hebert. Mm -hmm. The old name team. It's got some flow to it. Yeah. Even if your friends call you Guy Hebert. Absolutely. Park. Ahead for Federoff. Federoff sent it. Park. Park. Wanda Clark, we knew when they traded for him, he had a great playoff record, 32 goals in 77 playoff games. And he shows you why. Completed change. Oof, look out, he's going. Must be in the shot, the save! And a good stop by Guy Bear, and a good first to speed shown by Kirk Bulk. As that puck hit a player in the Ducks bench. And again, they come together this time, Paul Correa. And Maltby. <laughs> Basketball game yesterday, and they'll start Saturday in San Jose. Oh, a hard hit as Maltby nearly went right into the Mighty Ducks bench. Here's Samuelson, one last shot. Roll through. And what do we have here? It was an offside. And we've got penalty. There's going to be a penalty to who, though? I think it's Anaheim for interference on Draper at the line, maybe. Here's Shanahan on it. Shanahan to Chalios, to Lidstrom, to Chalios. Ch Shanahan shot, it's not the guy! Eisenman on the rebound! Nobody near the crease either, I don't believe. Clark was there. Or Holmstrom, rather. Shanahan with the blast. It hit Holmstrom and Haller in front. Dropped right to Eiserman. And he picks another short side in front of the goalpost on Guy Bear. Two goals for the captain. A two-goal lead for the Red Wings. Gill and McCowan to go to if anyone should falter. Caught the hard shot and a nice stop by Guy Bear. Lidstrom getting back. With Chelios in the blue line, Fedorov up front. Korea, Solani, Ruchin for the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Here's Ruchin finding Korea, left wing, the shot, scores! What a blast by Paul Korea! He let that one rip. You know, as I mentioned, he grew up watching Wayne Gretzky, whose slap shot was probably underestimated throughout his career, and 
This Gretzky like for Korea. Well, he had lots of time. I wonder if that may have just ticked a stick as well. When you're Alt Samuelson, you can bring Wayne Gretzky to tears. That's pretty good because Wayne held back for the most part. There's a shot. He barely the save. Home shot digging. Where is it? Oh, the whistle's gone. And the light is not on. And a bear's got it. And Eisenman is checking for more blood. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my. The Bucks never did, but that happens. I mean, you got to hope that those even out over time. Chalios played it ahead. McCarty took a bump and worked it through. Here's Draper in. Draper makes the move. And Frederick Olison stayed with him. Chelios held it in. Opposite corner it goes. Olison Draper the right hit hard. And he's going to get a penalty. Is Chris Draper. And here comes McCarty down here. Now that was the penalty call. Actually, the, the Draper hit looked rougher than, than the McCarty hit. Eisenman laying a lumber on Timu Solani. Malfi making sure. <laughs> Korea picking it up, penalty to McCarty, about to expire it now has. Here's Olison, save off, rebound, and that was tough. He'll cycle in, look for room, send it in front, intercepted. Larry on off with it again, fed it through, goes to the goal. Pass the clock, and Larry on off, back front again, knocked down. Larry on off again, just past Kozlov. And Tialto, the rookie after him, whoa, whoa, what a dangerous pass. Whoa, here's Brown, Clark. The heavy shot, the rebound, and the save by Bear. Boy, we talked about Aaron Ward, Mickey, but you keep making passes like that. Oh, boy. We got and a there's a penalty coming here just as After the play. After the whistle five. against the Ducks, it's going to be Stu Grimson. Eisenman back for Chelios. Eisenman stepped into by Green. Eisenman with the puck. Shanahan knocked down as Eisenman sent it through. Shanahan wanted a call, and Bears, Bears hurt, Holy but Shanahan smoke. was knocked down cutting yeah. through. I don't know whether it was Soleil or Pavel Trinka who got a piece of him. And there's nobody, co oh, here he, is. Here he comes off the Ducks bench. Now, I remember two years ago in this series, Bear got hurt, and, and Stalenkov had to take over. Now, there's the backup goaltender, Tom Askey, from Kenmore, New York, 186th overall pick in 93. Now, he's only here because Dominic Roussel had a terrible case of the flu. Roussel's the backup netminder. Askey was called up in an emergency basis. Off the draw, sent down the ice. Murphy out there with Samuelson, as this will kill off the remainder of the penalty. Larionov is limping off. Igor Larionov slow to go to the Red Wing bench. It seemed to be the left ankle of Igor Larionov. Here's Fedorov. Pass the cross and just shot wide. So Tom Askey has taken over. Center to front. Yeah. What a Gets play. the goal from Clark. Wendell Clark, what a play he made here. Wait till you see the replay. Holy smoke. Boy, Talk Wendell Clark, hustle. not known as an assist man, but hustle. what a great pass that one was. Oh, did he ever, like he was shot out of a cannon off the faceoff. And that's just pure hustle on Clark's part. Second time with a two-goal advantage tonight. Look at Federer hustling up there. Brown has the loose puck. To Clark. The shot. Oski didn't know he stopped it, but he did. Kozlov tried to feed it oh. back. Who's the other way? Here's Travis Green in. Green put on the back. Stop. Shot by Samson. Saved by Osgood. Ooh -hoo. Great play there by Samuelson on Travis Green. That's why Samuelson was traded for. You just saw it, folks, right there. He leveled Green. You know, the puck off the glass. Better off. Rocked it into the corner. Eisenman with Shanahan in front. Eisenman circle stops. Shanahan the shot. And the save by Askey. Caller at the point. Throw a screen. Osgood stopped it and cleared the rebound himself. Big save by Osgood there. Here's Cullen with a shot. That hit a leg. Samuelson on it. Got it to Moulton. Ten seconds left, second period. Harley with the stick up and he's going to the box. He did. He ever get Jason Marshall. Yes, that was a hard shot the other way. And then Murphy knocking down Drury. As the second period comes to a close and the sticks come up again. Draper in the middle of this stuff, he was being physical that whole last shift. Ran over Cullen in the slot. And now we're going to maybe get more as big Van Massenhoven says, that's enough, boys. Break it up. The meeting's over. 
Off his stick, the smooth skater into the end boards with Chelios. They collide as three above them. Solani tried to come out front. Goes after it behind the goal. Pavel Trinka shot. Rebound in front. Oscar down. Got back up and stopped calling. Good feed through. Here's McCarty. McCarty roughing it up with Puncher. The former teammates exchanging punches. Will they go? Penalty coming up here. Osgood going to the bench. Cutting off Chelios who put him in front. Two wings end up right in the slot. Maltby went into the net. Solani back to Korea. High slot. Osgood with a big save. It's Paul Korea. But with him, they'll walk right in as the back man. Three guys got caught. Poked away from Roots into the line. Olison held it in. Shot went wide. Paul Correa into Rucci. To Solani out of his reach. Murphy out of the box. Penalty over. Behind the net. Correa to Solani. Scores! All the Red Wings had control of the puck and lost it. And the Anaheim Mighty Ducks with 6.57 to go are within one. And just when we thought Solani was quiet. Well, they finally got him the puck and he did what he, did what he does best, boy. And that's put the puck in the net. Steve Eisenman thought he had it by Korea. And Korea made a good last second move to readjust. Around in the opposite corner it goes. Jeff Nielsen in there. Back of the goal. Out front. Oscar down. Cullen was looking for it. Shanahan's there. Moved it ahead. Good play by Eisenman who came up with it. He'll send it back in. I think you got your, your, your number one star of the game. A couple of goals. Mm -hmm. Without him, you obviously don't have that guy. And All right, let's set it up. Olison played it back. Shanahan stayed with Solani who yeah. went down. Open that. Haske getting back. Scores! Tour de Chapeau for the captain. Do you believe it? Eisenman got Trick. He should have gone to the bench. Wow. His fourth career playoff hat trick for Steve Eiserman. Is that any good? Holy mackerel. Oh, boy. Here's the goalie, Cam. Eiserman picked up the loose puck. Goes to the outside. Just snuck it inside the goalpost. All three of his goals... We're within a fraction of an inch of the short side goalpost. But the good news is they were inside, not outside. And he's got three tonight. Boy, oh boy, what a show. And they're standing here at the Joe. That was won by Draper. Danilo will give chase. So the Detroit Red Wings beat the Anaheim Mighty Ducks 5-3 to three to lead their series one game to none. And dating back to last season, the sixth consecutive playoff victory for the Red Wings. A goal and a couple assists in the opening game as the puck is played to the backboards. And Ruslan Soleil will work it up the wing, intended for Temu Solani. At the line, Nicholas Lidstrom bats the puck into the right offensive corner. Shimmy step play, Fedorov frees up his man on the doorstep, but Eiserman's shot was blocked to the defense. In the corner again, Fedorov drives in Aber's direction. Pretty It is a rebound. Guillaume Bear does his job, prevents the wraparound attempt by Sergei Fedorov, but Ruslan Soleil cannot control Brendan Shanahan. Go, go. Iserman, who had a terrifically strong clutch game against the Ducks in game one, motors in over the line, drives in Aber's direction, shoots, and Aber got the paddle down again. The rebound side of the net to Martin LaPointe denied at the defense. Long shot, tipped it on goal, and Aber. In the middle of the Hornets' nest, fans out to make the save and hold on. It's the Ducks and the Red Wings. Who's going to blink first? We'll be back with more right after this on KKL 9. But still, the defense playing a little bit soft in front of the Anaheim goaltender, and you can't give those Red Wings those opportunities. Chris shot for Nielsen at the base of the circle, and Chris Osgood makes his first save of the game. It plays it loose in the locker room. It's the performance once the game begins. What about that performance by Fedorov as he hopped aside from Tamu Solani and from a prone position laid it right on.
down to the tape of Brendan Shanahan. Plays the carom perfectly from Osgood and back come the Red Wings. Counter punching quickly. Fedorov with Eiserman in tow. There's the pass to Shanahan. A shot. And it was blocked out front by Kevin Holler. Jamie Fisher and along the backboards, Chris Murphy will send it right back to the far point. Look at this pursuit of the puck by the Red Wings. It leaves a bear scrambling. Solani along the boards, and there's the cross check. Not much doubt about that. The Red Wings haven't been taking too many point shots at all. They're always focusing on the plays down low. Opportunity here. Wendell Clark swipes a shot in on goal. Detroit now with 10 shots on goal to Anaheim's two. Slap shot. Lindstrom batted down to the defense. Lindstrom along the near board. Steps aside from Marty McGinnis. Chelios back to Lindstrom. He's got a wide open Shanahan. There's the pass tipped aside by Ruse Lancelet. He's looking over his shoulder for support, but Lindstrom poke checked it aside. Shanahan shoot it. Brendan Shanahan second of the game. This one on the power play. Brendan Shanahan has been a force in this one. Craig Hartsburg shakes his head because Ruslan Soleil gets caught up ice in the shorthanded situation. He makes a great play here, tries to turn it into a two-on-one, but look at the play by Nicholas Lindstrom. One-up Soleil. Now Shanahan comes back and uses Pavel Trinka as the perfect screen. Time of the goal, 10-14, and the Ducks are down by a pair. On the net, backhand shot! Cullen appeared to have a wide open avenue off the near post, but he missed everything. But Ruslan Soleil's pass is out of the reach of Steve Ruchin. And again, prevailing at his own blue line, Brendan Shanahan with two already in the game will step up to the Anaheim blue line. Look at this big man move around the defense, knifing his way in the direction of Avery. Spirit is becoming the Brendan Shanahan show. What a rush by Shanahan. But nobody takes the body, and the big fella makes him pay. Look at Shanahan, head up all the way, just bobbing and weaving past Matt Cullen, around Ted Drury. Now he's going to go inside on Ruslan Soleil. Thomas Holmes from chips it. Hebert makes the initial save, and another rebound goal. Korea far point. McGinnis down to Solani, drives to the net, shoots, looking for his own rebound. He was upended by Chelios from behind. Well, I'll tell you, Chelios and Solani have been going at one another all night long as the puck is rattled in on goal, and Hebert confidently makes the save. Korea steps aside from Federov. Drops a pass off to the far wing boards, and Chelios taking on a pair of Mighty Ducks. Looks on as Korea prevails in the corner. High slot feed, McGinnis, a slap shot, and a save by Osgood. And he'll hang on with 48 seconds remaining on the Shanahan penalty. You know, that's the shot I'm talking about, Chris, that the Red Wings will give you in the shorthanded situation. Keep an eye on it. Stop it right here. There's Kevin Holler. He gets the stick up. Doesn't look like much, but he brings it over the top on Doug Brown. It's a critical two and a half minutes. Boy, that's going to be Jason There's, Marshall going we're gonna to the give box. It to Marshall. At the line, Chelio scampers back to a rolling puck at center ice. We're inside a minute to play in this opening period. We remind you, Jason Marshall slated to be our guest during our first intermission. Upstairs. Beautiful feed by Sergei Fedorov. Doug Brown just kind of chips this shot. He's anticipating the Anaheim netminder committing to going down. And Brown throws it over his shoulder. Along the far board, Slava Kozlov plays the puck out to center ice. Igor Larionov cuts aside from Jason Marshall. Covering for him back at the blue line was Antialto, but look at the Red Wings step up over the line. Kozlov a shot and a kick save by Hebert because again they hooked up in the right offensive corner and he slew puts him to the ice and that'll do it. Marshall's going to go and so the Red Wings are back on the power play for the fourth time in this game. Jamie pushes to catch up to a loose puck and he 
He gets crushed along the backboards by Chris Green. Inside 12 and a half minutes to play, second period. Pusher shot is tipped in on goal by McKenzie. And the Red Wings want to take off the heat. Murray, an outlet pass that's cut off by Murphy. Larianov, Kozlov, waiting, looking, shooting, saved by Aber. On the doorstep, kicked aside by Travis Green. Backhand shot by Murphy. Is batted down at the defense. He'll volley to center ice. Mishandled by Pavel Trinkin. Inside the zone, Clark steps aside to Chelio. Slide it across, one-time shot. There. Eiserman cruising through the slot may have got a stick on the point shot by Chris Chelios. No chance whatsoever for goaltender Guillebert. What a great timing play by the Red Wings. As the puck is worked up the near board, Ted Drury takes a stiff shoulder from Matthew Dandino. Pusher moves in wide, shoots upstairs. Osmond loses control of the puck. Korea, heart of the blue line. Giving way to McInnes. Down low, they punch it in. Chris Osgood make one stride to his left and deny Freddie Olison. That was a terrific feat. Oh, outstanding save by Osgood. It was a great feat. Seam right through the interior of the four-man box. Cannot cleanly accept the pass. And as it's rifled up the middle, here comes Brown. Driving to the inside. One time shot. Goal and Abair flashes the fine skate save. Along the near boards with time. Brown will motor to the Anaheim Blue Line. Look at Draper. Hit a hole. Try to push one in on the far side. You can see that play developing from up here. Korea bumped by Draper aggressively in the corner. There's 25 seconds left on this man advantage. There's just no let up in this Red Wing game. To the line. Slap shot. Marshall blocked again by Al Samuelson. And as it's swatted aside by Kirk Maltby, this crowd just loves what they see. All the elements there from the Red Wings. You got Samuelson blocking shots. You got Chris Draper bumping Paul Correa and using that speed away from the puck. Shanahan with a pair of goals. Opportunity, Kozlov waits. Hebert connects, throws one right through the crease. Anaheim's defense stepping up. Haller slap shot is snared by Osgood. Taking his second consecutive shift on this line. Takes the pass and rifles a wrist shot upstairs. And Osgood followed it all the way into the glove. Nielsen looking. Swing and a miss. Cullen on the doorstep. As Anaheim begins to aggressively forecheck. And here they come two on one. Larry Anoff with LaPointe. Back to LaPointe. He shoots. And a save by Guillebert. Pusher. Center ice batted down by Aaron Ward. Opportunity here. Quick snapshot taken by McCarty. And Abair flashes a fine glove hand. Oh boy. Stu Grimson and Darren McCarty meet again. And it's all because Grimson has a bear hug going on Chris Draper along the backboards. Well, that was just a gentle little hug by Grimson. And let's not forget that it was Chris Draper who has taken a few runs at Paul Correa in this hockey game. The Red Wings behind a pair of goals by Brendan Shanahan. He has two goals and an assist. A two assist night for both Lindstrom and Federoff. And a 5 nothing lead will break out of the world zone. Players are all not enough behind the play and Chris Chelios is right to think of things. Detroit isn't going to stand for this. No way. Darren McCarty steps in and Stu Grimson's got a big right hand free. Who's coming? Maltby and Travis Green. Grimson had a right hand free. Chelios wrapped him up again. And then they just went eyeball to eyeball, and Stewart elected not to throw that big right hand. Chelios is like a pit bull along the boards. He keeps the elbows and the sticks up, and you see Grimson lays a lick on him. Actually, he lays a couple of licks on him before Darren McCarty jumps into the fray. You know, this had to happen from Anaheim. Teams are back at full strength with 11.40 to play. You know, great penalty, penalty killing by Anaheim, and you know... Oh, boy. 
Kucherov had the stick chopped out of his hands and then he went careening into goaltender Gieber who's slow in getting up. Solani with a burst of speed on the doorstep shot by Trinke driving towards the net with Steve Ruchin. We got a penalty coming up here. Anaheim pinned to the perimeter. Switching places. Korea on the forehand. Makes as though he's going to tee one up. Moves to Solani. He shoots. He scores! Tamu Solani with tremendous touch on that shot. As Osgood went down and Tamu went high. It's his second power play goal of the series. And it's a 5-1 hockey game. Love to see the power play get one. What a play it was by Paul Korea. Jerems to the left wing board. Iserman looking for Holstrom in behind the net. Give and go pass. Shit! and Abert just got the paddle on it. Wide side feed. McGinnis back to Solani. He tips one in on goal. And Chris Osgood was able to get the blocker on it. Red Wings have won seven straight, dating back to the last postseason as they polish off the Ducks here tonight, 5-1. Five to one. Well, the Ducks fight back. They actually outshoot the Red Wings in the second and third periods of this hockey game. Probably had the better of the chances in the last two periods, but Chris Osgood had nothing to do in the opening period because Brendan Shanahan and Sergei Fedorov were just weaving their magic, and Anaheim really had no answer for them. Only one shot, though, in game two, and he has to get more than that for the Ducks to be successful. Amu Salani has played about 40, or about one-third of the possible minutes, less than Korea. On now comes Wendell Clark, the ex-defenseman, back for a shot by Fedorov. He scores! Sergei Fedorov with a drive that went off a bear and into the net, and the Red Wings have struck first on a long drive. And Guy Bear simply has to be better. Fedorov started the game on the left side of Iserman, and the Red Wing fans here, they cheer the one nothing lead. That is Maltby along with Draper and Darren McCarty. And a hit by Draper, and a shot is trapped by Osgood. A good shot by Green. And now the first tip of the afternoon. The Red Wings almost got caught changing their defensemen. In fact, they ran into each other at the bench. This was happening at the same time. Haller, remember when he said he tries to drive people nuts? Eisenman's mad. Look at that slash. To the front of the net. Haller knocks him down. His arms out telling the referee, I'm not doing anything wrong. This is just the start of the shift. And then they went up ice. Stayed at each other. Sticks after each other. Now Haller will take one to the midsection and oh. drop down to try and draw even more than what Shanahan got. Chipped along Solani oh. wanted on all. Was he ever lined up by Wendell Clark? He saw it coming though and just braced himself. Matt Cullen stoked it ahead. It's worked up to Solani and he didn't take it. Oh, there's a cross check by Wendell Clark right up alongside of the head. And Clark will go for two. Both referees caught that one. Cullen a shot. Fought off and then held by Osgood and play is stopped. Solani there. Face to face with Chelios. Solani was in. He was in and the puck rolled right over the blade of his stick. He kept on trying to get to the puck and Wendell Clark came across. Eisenman will try to draw the puck back to the man. Oh, he lost this one. Fed across. Olison. Angled one in front. Quick shot. Score! McKinnis! Place is on fire. <laughs> well, they're happy at least from the draw, and Eisman usually wins them. This time, you'll see the Ducks find a way to win the puck back to the point. Korea's pressured, but made a great pass across. That pass was caromed back to McKinnis, and Osgood had no chance. What a great pass by Korea to feed Olison, who stays wide. The glass here is not seamless. There is give to it, and so there's not so much punishment dealt out to either the hit or the hit E. That's like a hit that just came from Korea. He's matched up with Lidstrom. McCarty working up front along with Draper and Maltby for Detroit. Draper steered it back in and then was bumped into by Olison. Grimson on the ice. The fans start yelling, Stu, and he wants to go hit somebody. He was bumped that time himself by Ward. Will he change on the fly or not? Oh, Korea took one there. Oh, boy. From He's Doug down. Brown. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, there was an official on that side of the ice in the duck zone that made the call, and you can see Paul was clipped underneath the visor near the nose. Brown will be going to the box. The referee had his arm up in the air. 
Back ahead, Olison Works it ahead for Paul Correa. Correa trying to worm his way in. Oh, and it went off. Off the breaking winger and kicked right on goal. 35 gone on the second minor. A shoulder by Shanahan, and Bear cleared it away. It has to move on back. And it's dumped right back in. Shanahan saw him there, and he says he's checkable. I'll take him. Played back out by Iserman in the last minute of four to kill. Iserman walking it ahead, drops it back. Murphy fed it across to Iserman. Oh, right one that went off up the pipe, and perhaps Bear got a piece of it, too. Controlled now by the Ducks, and Stoke back on for a little tap by McGinnis back. Laid back out for Sandstrom to just blast one that went wide. Oh. Party by Travis Green. It's hoisted away by Lidstrom. Drilled back along by Chelios. Kick back to the point. Trinka gives to Marshall. Shoots. Well, it had been a penalty killing clinic. But finally, a shot on goal, top corner, a power play goal. And the Ducks get the big power play goal they needed. Steve Eiserman dealt it into Shanahan. Fit it across, and it was shanked wide as breaking in from the point was Chelio. It is Shanahan to work it on for Eiserman. Looks to the front, peels off. Eiserman tries to get a shot away. Scramble at the front, knocked away, rebound on, and went off of Eiserman and wide. There'll be carryover time. Unless the Ducks score. Olison fires, save, rebound, oh, another save. Rootson is there, Mike. There's one other player missing. We'll try and figure this out. Stoppage of play, and what have we? It, very quickly becoming one of the greatest psychological speakers and writers that you would have in professional sports. A shot by Shanahan, knocked down, but maybe with a high stick. It was knocked down into the net by Holmstrom, and the Ducks are signaling high stick, and Mick Magoo says, we're going to go upstairs and find out. Now the height restriction is the crossbar. The slap shot taken hit Holmstrom's leg. He turned around, and on one leg, with one leg in the air, saw the puck and swatted it down inside the goal. This may be the best angle we have. This shot hit him. The puck's in the air. Now he's about to hit it with a stick. And it's slowing it down nicely for us. Oh, oh, baby, that's close. Hard to tell. Come upstairs, they've got to be dead sure. They're it's a it's goal. goal. Tom Wardell, the replay official, and Wally Harris upstairs as well, using a 36 years of experience at either refereeing or observing NHL games on behalf of the league. It counts. Never paid off for us in the past. At least wondering where someone might be. Here's McCarty centering. Quick shot is blocked aside by Hebert. A good chance there that came from Maltby. Thrown around behind by Ward. McCarty there. Wits to the corner with authority by Trinka. And then McCarty went down. It's Pitchfork back out and gloved down by Ward. And we get a stoppage of play. A penalty in behind the play. Oh, oh baby. Grimson with a cross check to the face of one of the Red Wings. Mike, this was nasty. The grind line was on the ice and they play it tough. There was a penalty upcoming and then Grimson, he threw a stick right into the face. Right into the face of Draper. I think that's Draper down on the ice. And he took a cross check from Grimson. Oh, did he get him. There was a penalty upcoming in the near right corner to the left side of Bear, And oh, this is getting nasty. Grimson's gone. He got a major, and he should have gotten a major on it. Eiserman to Lidstrom for a shot. Trickled in on goal, and it's cleared, but not out. A good keep by Lidstrom. Now here's where the penalty killer's tire. Eiserman looking to the front. Trying to worm it on the side, and it's held by Hebert. Yeah, Eiserman could, could not move the puck to Shanahan, who was waiting on the near side all by himself. I think this timeout helped the Ducks' defense, too. Lidstrom. Eiserman. Back to Lidstrom. Clark is at the circle. Iserman has Shanahan at the front. Iserman controls. Shanahan moves a little. They try to get it to him. It doesn't work. Iserman once more. Tested a bit now by Marshall. Puck to the point. Lidstrom back to Iserman. Fed one for Clark. Off his skate, though. Taken by Lidstrom again. Over to Iserman. Iserman creeps in. Shot save. Another shot. It's gone! Steve 
Iserman with another huge goal in the playoffs for Detroit. It is three to two. When Iserman has the puck in the corner, he's got three options. Back to the point, to the high slot where Wendell Clark was, or across to Shanahan. Shanahan, Wendell Clark, or back to the point over here. Now he takes one shot. He looks, he looks, he doesn't go anywhere. Now it's A Bear's job to take care of the short side. Lidstrom gives it back to him. Nobody else open. That pass doesn't work. Again, Shanahan's being marked. Clark's marked. The only thing he's got is a short side, and he was able to score on the rebound. Works back across now for control by Kozlov. Pivots. Kozlov fires. That stop. Rebound, and it went wide. They've stayed together so far. As back on now come the Ducks. Wrist shot is snagged by Osgood, and then oh, some crunching into him. Baby. Oh, man. This is nasty. The Thomas Ducks. Sandstrom was oh. the duck who wound up in Osgood's face. He got impaled on the crossbar, and then Ruchin went in and flattened somebody. The two defensemen stayed above the circle, and we'll see some more penalties called here. Third game of this series, and the Ducks aren't going quietly. Watch this shot by McKinnis. The whistle will sound. I thought everything's calm. There's Sandstrom driving to the net, and he did make contact, and then he paid for it. Better off on him, and watch Ruchin. And he nailed his man. Abel Trinka brings it ahead. Little pass on to Solani. Solani crosses. Gave it to Korea. Shot. Goal! I thought it went in. It may have glanced off the pipe. The light is on. Sweeping his arms back and forth is the referee. And there'll be a review here. Korea shot. You can definitely hear it hit the goal post. Lidstrom then back over to Chelios. In five seconds, both teams will get a man back and a thundering hit on Chelios that hurt him from Solani. That rattled his head into the, into the uh, glass. That's the first thing you want to do is strike back. Well, here's a good chase off by Draper on Pusher. Tried to shove it through. It's turned into him. Draper in front for McCarty. Big blast by Moldy. It stopped and held. Went away from Nielsen. Nielsen banged into the wall and came out with it. Centered, but it's cut off by Dandino. Brought on by Moldy. Oh, baby. What hitting? Bangers are on for both teams. Oh. Maltby got caught by a pair just now. And a stoppage of play. Checking line centered by Ruchin going against Iserman. Iserman trying to fight that one free, but it's Sandstrom giving to Ruchin, and a shot went off Osgood. A nice spike of it kept Green from breaking down. Off with it is Clark. Wendell Clark dealt it along. Fed ahead by Federoff. Brought back in by Dandino. Oh, a wonderful save by Abraham. And it's still 3-2 to Detroit. Couldn't come up with it. Brushed back ahead by Dandino, and up comes Maltby. Big drive! Save made by Hebert! Saw it scooped across and brought out by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Pitched right back in, and then what a rocking hit applied to Ted Brewery, and then a crunch to the corner. Jeff Nielsen involved with that one, and then closes off Kozlov to pay him back. Forced back on by Brewery. Guided over by Kozlov. Samuelson ran! by Travis Green as ahead now it is Larianov. Green has to get a new stick as this one turned it on goal and another save and the score! Kozlov! And the Red Wings are ahead by two. Mike, you talked about it. Green went into old Samuelson. Broke a stick, had to get one from the bench so they were down a man. Samuelson took the hit to make the pass. Look at this. Bang! Did he get nailed? The stick's broken in half from Green, but Samuelson made the pass. Now Green is at the bench. See him back up in there? That means you're down a man in your own zone, and you can see Kozlov find the rebound and able to slam it in. Filtered it on through for control by LaPointe. LaPointe looking to the front. Fed one to Federoff! Save made by Aver. Moves on with Korea. The drop to Solani. Solani waits after him though. Oh, and is he ever sent flying by Wendell Clark? It was a good, clean hit by Clark. Hung up in skates. Lidstrom picks it free, and now it's handed back out for Brown. Doug Brown moving in. Big shot, rung off the iron, and sailed up into the seats. They call the doctor. They know somebody's banged up. Oh, what a hit on McCarty by Trinka. They have Thomas Sandstrom coming out now, along with Ruchin and Marty McKinnis. Getting it, it's Ruchin. Looks over the traffic. Ruchin fed one. Sandstrom save made by Osgood. Point blank on Thomas Sandstrom. 
You sense the concern going through the pond here in Anaheim now. He wins it. Didn't win it. Bed over for Korea. Save. Popped up and then hacked to the glass by Osgood. 25 to go and the Ducks still need two. Some octopus thrown on the ice. Korea steers on out. Sandstrom is able to twist back. 15 to go. Sandstrom a long one that is snared by Osgood. What will he do? He lifts one. And it goes sailing back down off the stick of Korea. He was trying. Five to go. The Red Wings are going to be up three games to none. Nick Ledstrom with a couple of assists on the day is the new Dodge player of the game. And his partner Chris Chelios was pretty good too. And ooh, look at that stuff. Meanwhile, the Mighty Ducks, of course, they're without Stu Grimson, who sits out the one-game suspension for his hit on Draper. But the big news today is their captain and big offensive threat, Paul Correa, out with a broken foot. He will not play tonight. Would be a defense pairing for the Red Wings, and they performed well. Dandino got hit in there deep as the Mighty Ducks throw their weight around. Jason Marshall will bring it into the zone. Marshall turning. The shot, and Osgood out to cut down the angle. Holmstrom played it back. Open side now for Murphy. Eyes him in back for Murphy. Right in. And a bit of eyes him in the shot. And he better stop that one on the item and on the rebound. Pull a point in there first. He got body. Red Wings still with it. Larry on off. Pretty move. A front backhand stopped by a bear. Here comes Federoff. Swinging wide. Sent one into a bear. He made the save. Rebound still laying in there. Federoff for the rebound. And Malfi's given his stick. To, to uh, Samuelson, who you're right-handed. Samuelson's left. Samuelson with the big oh splash boy. on Solani. Oh, boy. And with Draper, or with multi stick, Samuelson played on the lumber, and he's going to the box, having a word with Dave Jackson on his way over. Delayed. And now Solani came back at him. Didn't like the chop. Solani wasn't feeling well to begin with with the flu today, and that made him a little sick. He kind of took her back a little bit. It looked probably worse than it was. Green dug it out from Skates. Back to the line. Holler shot stopped by Osgood. Here's Olison moving down deep. Drinka played it off. There's a shot. Osgood to save. The rebound. Kicked away. Osgood down. Still battling and cleared by Eiserman. Dan Treble, one of the new additions to the lineup. Number 34 out there with Jamie Pusher. Right into the slot. Shot. Oh! Good left-hand pad save, and the Bears lost his stick. Here's the point. Wanted to go back to Kozlov, didn't work. Out to out to the line and cleared up. A Bears still without a stick, and the Red Wings get it back in. Kozlov, and tying up inside the zone, the point, and there'll be penalties coming up as he and Treble are in headlocks. Well, the Ducks made another crucial error and decision, and it almost cost them another goal. Smaller bunt, lost it to Fedorov, here he comes, Fedorov right in, and a save made by a bear. Comes to Big Jim McKenzie, and the shot went wide, Kevin Haller stops left point. His shot, Osgood solved down, and off the side of the net and wide. Oh, and Samuelson got rocked in the corner. Here's Roots in the shot, and Osgood stopped it. Red Wings hemmed in their own zone now. Back to the point, Marshall shot, stopped by Osgood, rebound in front of the goal, great play by Murphy, here's Haller in, Draper, draped all over him, won't let him get away to get a shot, great play by Murphy and then by Draper, Huck still in the zone, Haller with Yeoman's effort. Look at him, they're still tied up on far side, far blue line, game still going on, heavy hit thrown in the corner, now the whistle goes, oh baby. Tennis in there, and Samuelson really laid on the body. Now they try to pull the bodies off as two ducks go down to the pond. It's a sign you're doing your job. Here's Chelios up on the wing. His shot, and Bear made the save. Boy, Chelios joins that rush so well with that speed. Can't get anywhere. Brown stayed with him. Draper turns. Look out. Draper Whoa. just got out of the way of Marshall, who nearly went head first into the Whoa. ducks' bench. Wow. He saw him coming. And that's why he was able to just skip the do out of the way. And Marcelola took himself into the Anaheim bench. Watching him. Olison at the point. In 
length for McKenzie and couldn't wheel around to get a shot. Osgood appeared slow to get up. Now he's up off his leg and he's able to hang on. And I don't he's know if Osgood's down. hurt. I think he's hurt. Maybe. He might be hurt. He on that first shot when the puck went off into the corner, he was moving gingerly and got up more slowly than I've seen him get up in a while. He went down in a funny position. His right leg was bent and he seemed to almost get a twinge or a little pull right there. Dandino, right wing side, the shot off the post. Yeah. That hit the goal post. You can hear the clang up here. Flipped out to center ice. Here's the captain. Eisenman on Trinka. What a move! In a goal! And a save by Hebert! Mm. Oh, Eisenman had Trinka looking. Here's Solani picking it up. Lead feed. Sandstrom in the clear. Sandstrom right in. Oh. Great defensive play. Oh, they're going to call the hook. Okay. Chelios oh, doesn't God. like the call. Oh, oh. Chelios says, wait a minute. I got his stick. Are you kidding me? Chelios is saying that he fell down. His feet went down on his own. That's his complaint. Olison lugs that puck to center. Quick feed in across the line. Splitting the D. The oh. shot. Oh. And just missed. Lead feed and Green couldn't get through. Draper was dumped, sent it out. Antialto stepped into there and a good hit by Aaron Warren. And a high out for three. Out. Stolen, oh, oh. a save by Hebert. Wow. And a big stop on Mulpey. Oh. What a giveaway that was. Holy man. Oh. Here's Holler. Held in. Mulpey found it. Mulpey with it and sent it out the other side. Dandino, right point. His shot in, deflected in front. Where is it? It bears a hold of that. That may have hit the, the goal post to boot. That would have been an interesting call. I'll tell you what, that would have counted too. McCarty, yeah. good job to keep the skates outside. Eyes him into Holmstrom. Holmstrom got rocked by Rucci. Pusher there to take it. He got Whoa. hit by Shanahan hard. Oh, did he ever get his former mate? And the shot by Holmstrom stopped by a bear. And Pusher gets up and didn't like the way that Shanahan manhandled him along the far boards. There's Thomas Holmstrom in the room looking at his shin guards. And on the back of his legs, you can see the bulge there. One of the few players in the National Hockey League who actually has a pad from his hockey pants sewn in the back of his legs. That's why Thomas Holmstrom can stand in front of the net so long and take the whacking and hacking. It's actually held onto by string. And in his hockey pant up on the right side, he's got extra padding in there. I asked him why. He said, I took a cross check from Alf Samuelson earlier this year, and the right side hasn't been the same. I said, have you spoken to him yet about it? He said, no, not yet, but I plan to. And now, of course, team bets. Solani. What do for a penalty in this game, don't you think? Mm -hmm. All this in point shot. Osgood stopped that with Cullen right there on his doorstep. 5-10 left here in the second period. Stolen by Federoff to Brown, and a save by Bear. But 16 on Dandino. Yep, two-hander across the right arm. Osgood leaving it for Nick Lidstrom. Eisenman, Shanahan, and Holmstrom up front. The quarterback, Lidstrom, ahead too far for Eisenman. Marshall whacked at it. Puck ricochets into the slot. Holmstrom right in. Scott! Strange play that was. Boy, oh boy. The Red Wings 7 for 22 on the power play in this series. There's where the puck got away. Holmstrom hustled through. Holds off Cullen and chips it in over top of the glove. Here's another shot by Sandstrom off the giveaway. Went wide. Cullen turns with it in the corner. Into the slot. Puncher. Oh, oh no, no, stop that there. one was by Osgood. Yeah. Hardy's lost his helmet. That's gone once per game. Intercepted there by Lidstrom. McCarty couldn't find the handle on it. Trinka played it ahead. Here come the Ducks in. Green the shot. And Osgood out to cut down the angle. Given up inside the line. Here's Marshall the shot. Osgood big save. Knocked out of the air with a high stick. No goal. No goal. Knocked out of the air with a high stick. Linesman's talking to him right now. Back. Or Larry on off to Kozlov. Now into Lariana, right in, centered out front. 
What a pass that was as Chelios put it across. Aaron Ward, who scored the first ever goal here at the Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim. 93 when this team came into existence. Two wings up, two on one. Brown with Murphy. Hit the goal post. All Brown, the third post of the night by the Red Wings. Ward to Maltby out of his reach. Here comes Green. In Oscar to save and out the other side. Head now to Kozlov, to Murphy, to Kozlov. Right in. The shot saved by a bear. Fedorov, Delane, Brown. Shot, and that was stopped. Stung him. Our belt tire power play partner for the next 25 seconds. Shanahan. High slot, Chelios. Oh, and a nice screen in front set up by none other than Holmstrom. 16 playoff games under his belt to 305. <laughs> Scotty. Look out. Here's a quick break. Shanahan in a low. No. Scores! What a shot! Brendan Shanahan. It's turned it up thing with 8.09 to play. Bingo. Holy mecca. What a shot is right. Oh. No goaltender is going to stop this shot. Shanahan had the feet moving. And now. How much does the line change that just happened playing in a part of this now? Onside, Shanahan settles it down. It's past Hebert before he moves. There was going to be a penalty on the play. Well, McCarty had been on and did not come back out as Shanahan came over the boards. Shanahan from Fedorov and Eisenman at 11.51, the scoring play. Did they ever change that first goal? Not yet. Eisenman has not been given an assist on that goal by Holmstrom yet. It's Holmstrom from Lidstrom. Now Shanahan from Fedorov and Eisenman. As the Red Wing fans here chant, sweep, sweep, sweep. There's a shot deflected just wide. Frederick Olison going after it. Eisenman staying with him. He couldn't get it into the zone. Now a giveaway. Here comes Shanahan again. Shanahan fakes. What a move. And a nice save. Rebound set wide. Shanahan in front. Point shot. Lindstrom. That was stopped by a bear. Fedorov will leave it in the corner. Nice little play there, wasn't it? Well, Samuelson made it ahead to Larionov. Larionov to Lane. Sent it through. Shot. Scores! Kozlov. It's three to nothing. The Red Wings are about to move on to round number two. Kozlov getting the goal. Now Larry Onoff again made a, a very smart veteran play here by going behind the net. No duck challenged him. They all came right back. Back check past Kozlov. Sandstrom shot. Walker stopped by Oscar. Clearing it out to center. Red Wing fans with the Aussie chant. Not that he's been overworked this third period. My goodness. 15 to 5 here. Shanahan in again. And a bear with the save on Brendan Shanahan. Pass back to the line. Holler shot. Stopped by Osgood. Rebound is blocked. That's up high in behind the net. Holler at the point. His shot hit a leg. Here's Olison. His shot. Good stop by Osgood. Red Wings with have outshot the Ducks 37 to 31. Down to a bear. A dozen seconds to go here. And the count is off. The Detroit Red Wings moving on to round number two. They win it three to nothing. The sixth career playoff shutout for Chris Osgood. And the ninth consecutive playoff victory tying the team record set back in 1952 and 53. Nine straight playoff wins by the Red Wings. They move on to round number two. Sweeping the mighty Ducks of Anaheim for the second consecutive playoff. Chris Osgood with 31 stops tonight. Scotty Bowman and Craig Hartsburg. They shake hands, the respective teams. And Craig Hartsburg wishing Scotty Bowman good luck the rest of the way. Now the traditional handshakes after always hard-fought series. A wonderful tradition in the game of hockey.
takes place. And that man was too, Paul Correa. And isn't that nice? I mean, Chris Chelios, Steve Eisenman going over with words for Paul Correa and the way that Chelios handled him all series. Yeah. And when he was a Black Hawk, a bitter rivalry. And yet, that's the great thing about this game of hockey when it's all said and done. Now here's two old buddies, Pusher and Osgood. Did some rooming together when they were together with Detroit and Oz good with the tap in the rear end. Is nice try, Jamie. We'll talk to you down the road. And Ozzy hits the dressing room to congratulate his mates and to celebrate their first round victory. And they could have some big time off here, as many as nine days in between games, potentially, for the Red Wings here, which is going to be quite a stretch. But only time will tell with the other series, Kenny.